Well, hello, a long time no see. How y'all doing? Hey guys, what's up? How you been? How's it going? Um, I'm sorry that I have been away for about three weeks, maybe a month. I think it's been a month since I've actually like sat down and filmed something. So, um, first just, I want to say thank you because I did have quite a few of you like reach out and say like, Hey, hope you're okay. Things like that. Um, and I just, that meant a lot to me. Like, thank you. That was really sweet. Um, so everything is fine. Um, as you know, I went to, uh, I live about eight hours away from like my family and like where I grew up and stuff so I did take a trip down home for about eight days and it was so nice and so fun and I just when I got back up here it just I don't know I don't know any other way to explain it other than I was just utterly utterly sad and like uninterested in everything like I didn't want to sit down and film I didn't want to watch other people's YouTube content like I just wanted to like be miserable <laughs> and uh, you know so working through some of that stuff but I'm here I think I'm back I am finally ready to like just get back into the swing of things like and that was the other thing I didn't want to like film a video and it seemed forced and not genuine and just kind of like Rah. so I just I wanted to wait until I was like ready so I woke up this morning and I was doing my makeup and I'm like okay today is the day that we can film so I'm really excited um but yeah I I think that's it just again thank you guys and um yeah so without any further rambling which you know we are uh really good at let's just get on into our update this is update nine to the partners in cream project pan so i have had so much fun doing this project pan i think this was such a great um idea that steph and dalin came up with you know using only your cream um type products like no powder products and as far as i am aware it is making a reappearance next year i think there's going to be some like tweaking to the rules in the sense of like uh, I don't know if it's every month or quarterly, but there'll be like refreshes and things like that. So um, yeah, we're almost uh, done with this first year of it. It will end December 10th and yeah, it's four to six items rolling all cream. And like I said, it's created by the lovely Steph and Dalin. And if you check out the description box, I always have their channels linked below. I have the community playlist. Um, I'll have my playlist and I'll have like the spreadsheet of everyone that is doing this. So you will have quite a lot of content to binge. Okay. Okay. So let's get into something that I deem the least exciting. This is my Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipstick in the shade Honeycomb. This is where it is currently at. That is so little, but y'all, I did not realize how long a lipstick would take like I thought okay if I put in a lipstick which this is my favorite shade it's just like a great kind of pink brown nude I thought like okay if I put this into a project pan like I'll wear this every day and I do pretty consistently wear it every day um and it's a great shade because I can layer like a different lip gloss on top of it and it kind of changes it a little bit so I'm not like really bored with it you know but it is just slow going I have it on this piece of paper I didn't even have enough spacing you'll see the last line for the update here there wasn't even like enough of a gap to make a new line for this update so <sighs> long haul item i do i know i've talked about in the past like just getting it down to the little b and i think we're there um i i think i could roll this out honestly but i just kind of want to continue to work on this one and I don't have a lot of lipsticks in my collection, but I want to like take this month to kind of go through and play with them and see if there's like another one or two that I want to roll in, you know, for the remainder of this project and maybe have like a usage goal on them. So uh, wait for that on the next update. But all right, our other cream, well, our other like stick kind of product. I have this twinkle stick or no, that was what the one from Tarte was called. This is the highlight stick from ColourPop. Mine is in the shade Magpie. I think this was like a limited edition shade, but when I started it in this project, it was brand new. So that is it rolled all the way up just so you can see it. I will give it a, give you a swatch of it. It's a really pretty 
like pink color it I don't know like um how the lighting is doing so it's really dark and gloomy here today and I have the ring light on I don't think it's washing it out too much the sh the color of this like the pink is really intense and dark so I can't wear this on top of foundation I kind of like just draw it all over my face and kind of blend it out and then put my foundation on and it still gives me that same effect as like using a like liquid highlighter and mixing it in with your foundation or your primer it still gives you that same like glowy effect so I haven't minded like using this I'm glad that I found a way to use it to make it work for me but I do have it um, marked on this sheet of paper so we just rolled this in, let's see, in August. And so then the last time you guys saw it in September was one month of use. So now we have been working on it for two months and you can see there's like a really big dip between the um, introduction of it in August versus September. And I think part of that is because it was kind of like a domed shape. And so once we wore that away, like it was really quick and now it's gonna be like the lines aren't gonna be as um, spaced apart, but I do use this pretty consistently, um, pretty every day, I think, every day that I do makeup. I'm trying to think, I yeah, I tend to use that every day, so really enjoying it. Um, I don't notice that it like accentuates any texture or anything like that, so I would be interested in trying like other highlighting sticks from ColourPop because this one has been a joy to work with, so. Speaking of ColourPop, we have our ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Set to Stun. So this one is a really pretty like pink with like blue glitters, but the blue glitters are not so intense that you couldn't wear this like as like a pretty nice everyday shade. So I think the goal with this was to finish it up. I have worn it, I think five or six times since the last time I updated you guys on this. And I'm gonna give you a swatch just because it's so pretty. So pretty, it's like an intense rose gold kind of shade. But yeah, I'm just, I'm enjoying this. I'm not gonna rush myself. If I use this up by the end of the year, that will be like phenomenal, like a super shock shadow down that I finished off because there's um, like two grams of product in here. So it's a pretty big thing, but I'm not gonna like force myself like if I want to reach for it I'm gonna reach for it and I will love on it that way and just keep it in for the remainder of the project and I've really found that by doing it like approaching it in that way I haven't been tired of this I haven't been overwhelmed with having another eyeshadow in a project so yeah I'm just gonna continue to love on it as a want and then we also have another cream eyeshadow which this one I use as like a base and then I'll put a shimmer on top of it so it's not, I don't wear it on its own. It's pretty, um, but it's just, I, I would rather use it as like a base, like I said. So this is a Stila Glitter and Glow. It's um, in the shade Kitten Karma was the Glitter and Glow. And then I did mix some loose pigment from ColourPop into this. I think it was called like Red Zone, but it would help if I showed you the actual product. Um, so we have been working on this since I want to say January I want to say this has been in the whole time and the goal is to finish it off it has gotten really thin it's just there around the edges I need to like smush everything back into the center of it but still creamy still performing nicely um the reason I did this was because the steel of glitter and glow did dry out on me and it you know it's a full size one so it's $24 worth of product and I was like I'm not ready to let that one go so I just made my own like cream shadow and I'm really happy I did that now I know like I don't want my other Stila glitters to dry out, but I know that if they do, like it's okay, it's not the end of the world, like I can get them to just be like this, so. But yeah, I'm still working on that. So then the last item and the most exciting probably is our The Bomb How About Them Apples palette. And so what do we do every time? We roll a clip of what it was looking like last month. Okay, are you guys ready? Here's what this palette is looking like now. Ooh, look at that. We have hit side pan on pie there, and it's very thin around the edges. Um, I'm not having a problem with the brush, like picking up enough product, so I'm not gonna like smush it back into the center just yet. 
and then I'm pretty sure the pan on crisp has expanded as well. I wear, wear pie more often than crisp. Again, not because crisp is like I don't like it. It's actually my favorite and so I'm like kind of holding off and like finishing it up last. But um, I have been wearing them both throughout the last month and I've just been enjoying them. I have crisp on today with like a powder blush topped on top of it, like a peachy one. Um, but I just really love them. I love this, uh, like I just love this little palette. I didn't have any like bad shade in here, even cobbler, like the red one, while it was a little intense, like it still, it blended out, like you could make it work, you could wear it on your lips, like it was fine. I just, I've really come to enjoy this palette and I will be sad to see it go, but also like how amazing will that be to have finished off six blushes. Now, I do have to say, if this is your first time, uh, this has been in since January, but I had already finished off Cider and Caramel, I believe. I know I'd finished off two, and I'm pretty sure it was those two. So I've only um, been working on four of them this year, but still, like that's pretty impressive to hopefully finish off all four by the end of the year. I don't know. Uh, crisp here is a lot more stiff. I was about to say it's stiffer. Stiffer's a word. Um, either way, it is not as like emollient as the other blushes in here so my brush doesn't have like a hard time picking up product or anything but it's just not as creamy and so I think that it will hang on for quite a while quite a while longer than the other ones and the progress on it will not be as fast moving as the other ones so I don't know uh, but my goal is to I think since there's so little left of pie I just want to kind of like take the month of October to hopefully finish off pie. That's kind of my goal. And then we could just have crisp for the rest of the year and I would be quite fine with that. So that is all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I encourage you to check out everyone else that is down below. And yeah, I just, you know, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.